going to co cover accounts receivable with an SAP accounting powered by HANA. While this call is targeted at users such as financial analysts and heads of accounts receivable, SAP users across other functions will benefit from getting a sense of the HANA capabilities. There are two business pain points that accounts receivable and HANA tackles. First, it extends information to those closest to the customers, such as sales executives, through mobile and simplified applications. We'll see these simplified applications in a few minutes. Also, there's inaccuracy in working capital calculations with a lot of organizations currently as Excel spreadsheets are labor intensive and error prone. They also lack down drill lack drill down capability. Whereas accounts receivable and SAP HANA provides full flexibility in working capital analytics. So today we're going to cover getting cash, drivers of day sales outstanding. We're going to review collections and explore customer line items. So let's get cash from our customers. So here's our CFO dashboard, it's kind of our starting position. Let's take a look at our overdue receivables. As it looks like we have a fair amount of our receivables are overdue. Now we can see, you know, our days, our outstanding receivables by day, our AR aging schedule, if you will. Um, let's look at it by customer. So this bore and hammer is a significant amount of overdue receivables. Let's drill down into these. Process them. Let's take a look at this invoice here. We'll select that. And create a promise to pay. So let's assume Lena Bauer said her organization would pay on July 22nd. Everything looks good in there. We'll click OK. We've created a promise to pay for these outstanding, this outstanding invoice. So now let's take a look at working capital analytics. Let's analyze our day sales outstanding. So we just simply click on the analyze day sales outstanding tile. Let's add our first analysis step, which is country of customer. Um, overdue day sales outstanding by country of customer. Uh, let's take a look at a line chart. So looks like these two customers are you know kind of an anomaly so we should probably drill down into this one looks like our Bolivian customers let's add another analysis step um, let's look at our specific Bolivian customers let's scroll down here um, let's that on the scatter plot so now you can see that we have this fairly massive customer that's also paying pretty late so we should dive into that. Um, we can add another analysis step. Look at the specific receivables. We'll just get a list of these open receivables. I will put this in table representation. I'll click there so we can view it. Now we can see all the pertinent information about these receivables. You can scroll over. So we'll save this. Um, we'll save this analysis path as the Bolvos Dunning follow-up so we can, you know, send him an email or whatever to figure out what's going on with these receivables. So we'll click OK. So now let's manage our collections. Um, let's process our open items. Um, as you can see here are open items and they're sorted by priority. Let's take a look at what exactly constitutes a high priority. So we can take a look and see what a high priority is. Click out of that, looks okay. Let's scroll over. Let's take a look at the due date grid. Now we can see our overdue receivables and then our receivables that are due in however many days. Let's take a look at the specific invoices. Let's click on this, select this first one. So you can see the open amount that um, this customer has on this invoice. Nothing is credited, nothing is paid. So let's um, create a promise to pay. So it looks like they'll pay on 
promised to pay on July 6. Click OK. Now let's look at individual customer line items. We'll click on that. Um, Dunning level distribution. So let's look at our Dunning level ones. Um, by, let's look by our uh, top 10 customers overdue. So here's our bore and hammer again. Let's drill into this one. Let's look at their line items. Um, let's look at this receipt invoice. Let's assume there is uh, an issue with this and rather than dunning them right now we will hold off on that. So all you have to do is click on this. You have a reason why we're holding off on that. Click OK. Now we've gone through our customer line items. So I hope you've gained an appreciation for HANA with these transactions as these would have taken a great deal of time and possibly advanced SQL knowledge to previously execute. Thank you.